In this presentation, we will track and pay bills. In other words, we've entered bills in the past, increasing the accounts payable. Now we're going to track those bills, see what bills are in place, and decide which ones we want to pay, and then pay the ones we decide we want to pay. Time to get started with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're currently in the Vendors and Purchases section. Within the Vendors and Purchases section, we have the flowchart down below. The flowchart including the items of entering bills and then pay bills. That's going to be our normal kind of flow that we will be having. When we enter bills, that's going to enter or increase the accounts payable account, a liability account. And then, of course, when we pay the bills, it's going to be decreasing that accounts payable account and then taking money out of the cash or checking account. So let's take a look at the bills we currently have. We can go to the enter bills here and say I would want to see a new bill. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold on a second. Close that back out. Close that back out. We want to see the second item, which is to view and edit bills. So view and edit bills. These are the bills that we currently have in place. We could sort these bills by our, our statuses up top or the amounts and whatnot to see which bills we want to pay then decide which bill we want to pay now in this case we're going to pay this one this one to fender so fender was a new uh vendor a new vendor fender and we're going to be paying that bill we're not going to pay the epiphone at this point in time so i'm going to close this back out then we have a couple different options in order to enter the bill we can go to the bills here we can pay the bill one at a time we could pay multiple bills i'll just we're going to be paying the one bill here, so I'm going to say pay bill up top, so we're going to go into the pay bill. I'm going to make this large so we can pay it, and then we're going to check the vendor, and the vendor will, of course, be our new vendor, Fender. So Fender is who we buy guitars from. Notice it popped over here from the right-hand side to the left-hand side in terms of the tabs, and now it's showing the, the item number, the bill, in essence. So then if I was to tab through this, I'm going to say, all right, let's tab through this. I'm going to put a checker reference number. I'm just going to put one in here. 228. Uh, let's keep that. It's a pretty good date. And then I'm going to say that... Uh, actually, let's bring this down a bit. Let's bring it to, to like the 22nd. And then we'll say it's coming out of cash. We have the different forms of payment that we can be using. Cash, check, Amex, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go down here and check off the actual bill. That will populate the amount up top. So now the amount up top is populated. This is going to be coming out of not the cash on hand, but the checking account. So we want this coming out of the checking account. So it's going to be removed from the checking account. So that looks good. What's going to happen when we record this? It's going to be coming out of the checking account. The other side is going to go to the accounts payable account, uh, decreasing the accounts payable. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say save, and then we'll close this back out. And we'll take a look at our reports up top. All we need really is the balance sheet report. So let's take a look at the financial reports because that's that's where the balance sheet is. And then we'll go into the balance sheet. We're going to be changing the dates up top. It's currently in February. That's the, what we want. So I'm going to say OK. And then we are in our uh, balance sheet here. Then I'm going to go into the checking account. And we should see the decrease happening within the checking account. There it is for Fender, the bill we paid to them. And then I'm going to close this back out. I'm going to close this back out. The other side then on the accounts payable, double clicking on the accounts payable, we see the amount decreasing the accounts payable account as well here. Closing this back out, closing this back out. Also note the accounts payable would then be supported by subsidiary ledgers, which break this information out not by date, but by vendor who we owe to. So I won't go into that again now because we've seen it in the past. It's very similar to the accounts receivable uh, subsidiary ledgers, but just be aware that this amount should be tying into the subsidiary ledger, breaking the same information out by vendor. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.